Hi there, I'm Jalen West and I'm back today with another one of my motivational videos. And today I wanted to talk to you about our perception of truth. Um, then the first thing that I wanted to share with you is that, you know, we all have perceptions of truth. We all see things a certain way and then perhaps down the road someplace, we look and say, oh, well, it really wasn't that way at all, or it really wasn't quite what I perceived it to be. That happens to all of us. We all see things one way, and then later on, um, perhaps see it a different way once we've gone through a few things, or um, our circumstances have changed, possibly even just because we've matured in life. Uh, there's a favorite quote that I have from Maya Angelou, and that is that we are as blind as we want to be. I'm gonna say that one more time. We're as blind as we want to be. Ouch, but so true. You know, we're, uh, we have to face reality about so many things. We have to face reality about, um, about our lifestyle, about our businesses, um, about our debt, how we manage money or don't manage money, how well we're able to save money, um, we also have to face reality about uh, the foods we eat and drink, um, just the entire lifestyle of it, about yes. our relationships, and also about ourselves. And this is a journey. So we start at one place and we make progress along the way, hopefully. But sometimes we get stuck in a treadmill of, um, not truth, um, of something that isn't as we perceive it to be. And we can't seem to move forward because we're just stuck on this treadmill of, you know, I can't, I just can't, this is, this is the way it is. And we have to find a way to embrace it no matter what it is, possibly no matter how much it hurts or um, how disappointing it is but we have to embrace it in order to move forward with our lives because that's part of the journey. We cannot be stuck in one place um, for many years. We have to find our way forward. Um, and it has been a big journey for me in learning how to do this. Um, and you know, one of the ways, one of my examples is in uh, managing money um, because it is not one of my strengths to manage money, but it took me years to finally face and accept that I was not very good at managing money. Um, as soon as I would earn it, I would spend it. Um, and then I would spend, you know, you know, share it with everyone else around, even if what I really needed to do was put some into savings. And so um, I had a reality check and it was quite humbling. And that's when I finally though realized I needed some help in this and, um, and I needed to move forward with this. I needed to figure out how to manage money better and I couldn't do it on my own. So, um, so I got help to do it and, um, and I have no regrets whatsoever. Um, and another one was in my lifestyle. Um, I had a very stressful, uh, far too busy lifestyle and um, I was in the midst of always trying to people please and forgot to take care of myself in the process. So um, I finally had to face that because I realized that it was going to affect my health and it had already begun to affect my health. Uh, not in really bad ways, but not in good ways, really, you know. And if, you cont if I continued to do that for a long period of time, um, it would have shortened my life and, and I, finally had to face that. Um, another thing also is in relationships. Uh, we have to look not necessarily at what others say, but what their actions are because um, another great truth is that actions speak louder than words. So, and that's true with us, of course, also. But, you know, there are times that, you know, we meet people, we know people where their actions don't seem to line up with the things they say. And we have to face that and say, well, perhaps they really want to be this way, but this is who they really are. 
we can accept it, we can forgive them and love them and embrace the relationship, or if it's a toxic relationship, then we have to decide what we're going to do from there. So, then the hardest one, my friends, is facing the truth about ourselves. Um, we all want to be Superman, Wonder Woman, you know, this amazing person. And you know what? None of us are. In fact, it, there is no such thing as Superman or Wonder Woman. Um, it's a part, it's an act, it's a movie. There are people who are paid a lot of money to play these characters. Um, but the reality is we're, we're born with flaws and we just do the best that we can. Um, and once we can start to embrace that we really are these people, we, we really are imperfect um, with our children, with our spouses, with our relationships, um, in our work, once we can face it and say, you know what, I think I made that mistake and I am so sorry, um, then we can correct it. But trust me when I say that if, if we've made a mistake and we just try and BS our way through it and hope that nobody ever notices, um, they do. So sometimes it's better to just own up, you know, just be a little humble about it. It's okay, because we all go through that. None of us are perfect. Ouch, I know. Well, you know, it was, a, it was very hard for me to um, accept the fact that I'm as imperfect as I am, but trust me, <laughs> I'm a very, very imperfect person, but uh, I'm giving it a shot every day. So um, anyway, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, let's embrace our realities and our truths. Let's not become bitter about them. Uh, let's not become um, bitter about our disappointments in ourselves and others. Let's just face it. None of us are perfect. Let's just keep keep moving forward with this and keep helping each other and, and keep accepting that this is, this is how it is. But perhaps we can do things to improve who we are. Um, know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Man, I get it now. I finally get that. Once I accept the truth about myself, my circumstances, my loved ones, my friends, um, I'm able to move forward and do the things that need to be done to try and make it better or just accept it. So what? So what if it's imperfect? Just accept it. Life isn't perfect. Okay. So anyway, thank you for listening um, and for watching this. Please uh, share this with your friends if it touched you and please let me know if it did. I always love to hear your feedback. You can find me on Facebook, um, Jalen West with a capital L or Life in Our Community or I also have The Organic Lifestyle. Um, YouTube, I am uh, Life in Our Community, Instagram, LinkedIn, Tumblr, and I have a blog called Jalen's Groovy Blog. So have a great day. And I will see you next time. Take care.